The exhibitions called Elsewhere, it explores public space and how we might use creativity to move beyond here and the difficult realities that people can sometimes live in. It's about utopias, more complex spaces and ways we might improve our access to public space and how we engage with it. I've never, as an artist, curated an exhibition before, so I've learned a lot through the process. My instinct to come to it was, oh, what would I make around this theme myself? But I had to put that aside and then support the other artists to make their own work. Kareen is an amazing artist. They're bed bound and they have been for five years. All their work is made in that small space. For this exhibition, Kareen made a quilt of daisies made out of pom poms. So, as a child, Kareen had an imaginary friend called Daisy, and together they created this sort of utopia called Daisy Land. Um, and Corrine identifies as gender fluid. So Daisy Land was a safe space for them to be and to sort of feel accepted and at home really. We've got this amazing collection by Eddie um, who works on anything he can get his hands on, for example, paper cups. So he makes drawings of people's faces and then he'll give them away quite often. So there's a real generosity in his work. As part of the exhibition, we've painted a blackboard on the wall and Eddie comes in throughout the exhibition and draws on it and um, continues to make his work in the gallery space. Another key work in the exhibition is by an artist called Pear, who has a really interesting practice where they explore public space in a way that is very sensitive. So they'll gather pigments and materials from the back and grounds, make ink and then paint with those. And it's a really beautiful, sensitive way of working. In the exhibition, we've got a series of documentary photographs taken by an artist called Max Reeves, um, which show a protest that took place in 2022, which was about access to public space and the right to roam. This afternoon, we've got a parade coming to the gallery. Um, and we've got two troops of Morris dancers um, called Wild Hunt and the Black Swan Morris dancers. So that's to do with a resurgence of interest in folk traditions and a way for people to sort of reconnect with nature. And part of the workshop is that we'll be making costumes and masks and um, it's just a way to sort of come together as a community and sort of celebrate the beautiful grounds that we've got at Bethlehem and celebrate the coming of summer. So I'd like visitors to take away a kind of sense of joy, um, of colour and also thinking about some of the more challenging aspects of the exhibition, so gender, politics and difficult situations that people find themselves in.